Hey everybody, my name is Zach Pascarello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can file your 1099s for your business electronically using QuickBooks Online. I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's jump right into this tutorial video. If you are a business owner, I already know you're probably super busy, super stressed out. If you need any help, my contact information is down below in the bottom of this video. So first, before we get started, obviously you need to be using QuickBooks Online in order for this to work. Before we get started, you need to make sure all of your vendors are added into QuickBooks correctly. So on your QuickBooks page here, on the left-hand side, click on Expenses, and then specifically go to the Vendors tab. Now here, you can just search for any one of your vendors. In this particular example, let's look at Ellis Equipment Rental. Now here, you need to click on the Edit button. You want to make sure you have all of their information correct the company name, first name, last name, you wanna make sure you have the address here. And then finally, you want to make sure that you click this button, track payments for 1099, and then make sure you put in their social security number if it's an individual person, or their EIN if it's a business. It's really important, you wanna make sure you get a W-9 from all of your vendors, subcontractors, general contractors, anybody who's providing a service for your business, you wanna make sure you get their W-9. There's a couple things to note. If you are paying an S corporation or a C corporation, they do not get a 1099. So whenever you receive their W-9, you wanna look at the W-9, make sure they fill it out correctly, and look to see what type of business are they. Or maybe they are an individual person, or an LLC, or a partnership, or a C corporation, or an S corporation. If they are a corporation, you don't need to worry about giving them a 1099. Also, if you pay somebody with a debit card or a credit card, you don't need to give them a 1099 because their payment processor will give them a 1099. So once you have all of your vendors correctly added into QuickBooks, you want to make sure you are using a category that makes sense for a 1099 independent contractor. Something like, in this example, we have maybe cost of labor, job expense, cost of labor, or maybe legal and professional services, or maybe advertising and marketing, repairs and maintenance, general contractor, subcontractor, cost of labor. You only give a 1099 to people who provide a service to your business, not somebody who sells you supplies. So you're only paying for services. This could be a driver, a general contractor, a subcontractor, a plumber, electrician, office manager, virtual assistant, bookkeeper, attorney, accountant, landscaper, office cleaner, secretary. The list goes on and on. Anybody who provides a service to your business should get a 1099 if you pay them with cash or check. If you're using a debit card or credit card, they don't get a 1099. Okay, so once you have all of your vendors correctly in QuickBooks and all of your transactions categorized, now you're going to go back to the vendor page here and in the top right-hand corner, you are simply going to press prepare 1099s. Now for your business, you need to make sure that your legal name and your email address and your business address are all accurate. And then you also need to edit your social security number or EIN. Once you have your legal name, email address, business address, and EIN correctly in your QuickBooks, you can press this green button, confirm info, and start filing. Now here is where you need to select the accounts that get mapped to your 1099 filing. So here, if you click on select accounts, this is why I said you wanna make sure you are using a category that makes sense for contractor labor. Things like cost of goods sold, or bank charges, or fuel, probably not going to get a 1099. So you just want to check the box here for any category where you paid a vendor or contractor for services provided to your business. Here in this example, 
this is a trucking company. I've got contractors. I've got hotel reimbursements. I've got dispatch fees, and I've got cost of labor. And I mapped all of these to non-employee compensation box one 1099 NEC. Once you have all of the accounts listed here, you're going to click the green button next. Okay, once you hit next, now this will show you all of your contractors who you have made payments to and that show up on your 1099 report. Keep in mind, if you paid anybody less than $600, they might not show up on this report. So this is only people who you paid more than $600 and who you checked that little box. If you remember in the beginning, I said check this box for track payments for 1099. So these are all of your contractors who have been categorized as contractor labor or providing services to your business, who you paid more than $600 to, and who you checked that box in their vendor profile. Now, if you're missing any of their information, it's going to show up here. So in this particular example, we are missing this person's address. So what I would do, reach out to your independent contractors and your vendors and say, hey, I need your tax ID or I need your address. And then once you have all of their information, you can simply press this next button and then you can e-file your 1099s using QuickBooks. It only costs $4 per 1099 to electronically submit them to the IRS and to your vendors. So QuickBooks will submit your 1099s to the IRS and keep in mind, these are due January 31st and once they are approved by the IRS, QuickBooks will also mail them to your independent contractors and if you have their email address on file, it will also send an email to all of your vendors and your contractors with their 1099. It's so super simple. I definitely recommend keep up with everything on a monthly basis. That way you have all of your transactions categorized and that way it's super simple for you to file your 1099s using QuickBooks online at the end of the year. Once again, if you need any help, my contact information is below. Feel free to reach out. I do bookkeeping in QuickBooks every single day. That is the business that I run, Harrisburg Bookkeeping. If you need any help, I'd be happy to work with you.